Bonjour les enfants. Alors, I have uh, prepared you an exercise to revise the word some. Alors, some, and uh, you're going to find that in the file that is attached. Um, this is a bit of revision, also the agreement with the colors. Make sure that you uh, circle your words, uh, ES en rouge, le, when it's masculine en bleu, and try to do the agreement. So it's a good revision of all your vocabulary of food, uh, mainly uh, well, all the food that you have learned before with me, and uh, revise the, the, the word sum. Alors, we have du, alors sum is du when it's masculine. Actually, we should say uh, de le, but the problem with de le is that the, de le, de le, de le doesn't work. So uh, French people are uh, changing it to du. Alors du is easy to say and it's masculine. When it's some but feminine, we are saying de la, de la. Alors du can be used with words that you can in some of it, but not the whole thing. For example, you could have du celery. Alors, the celery is very big, you're not going to eat all of it. Or du broccoli. Alors, le broccoli is very big, you're not eating all of it. Alors, you're eating some of it, but not two or three broccoli, just a part of it. Alors, du. With de la, de la is feminine. Alors, de la is feminine, and with this, uh, we are uh, eating or drinking something, but not all of it. Alors, de la bière, if you are... Uh, uh, someone who a man, they said some beer, so you're not drinking the whole bottle, you're going to uh, pour some of it in your glass and you're going to uh, drink some of it. Alors, de la bière, or you're going to have some de la sauce. Alors, de la sauce, uh, this is something you're going to pour on your steak or on your sausages or whatever. And uh, la, la sauce is not something you can measure, you're having some of it, but not the whole pot. Alors, de la sauce, okay, some sauce. You have the word finally de. De is again some, but this time you can count what you're having. You can have many of them. Alors de radis. Uh, we know that radishes are quite small. You are not going to stop at one. Alors de radis. Uh, same thing for de petits pois. Alors you see, you never eat just one. Alors you eat many of them. De petits pois. Alors, it's not just du or de la. It's de. You eat many of them. Now sometimes you have a word like anana. And anana starts with an A, a vowel. Now, anana, we cannot use the word de, le. So we're going to say de, l apostrophe, anana. And this way it pronounced well. De, l'anana. We don't say de, le, anana. That doesn't work. De, l'anana. Okay, anana is masculine. It should be de, le. We're not saying that. We're not saying du, anana either. That doesn't work. Du finished by a vowel. Doesn't work. De, l'anana. Okay. And if it was feminine, l'eau is a, is a body, by the way. Alors, de l'eau. Again, it's not that a vowel. We have de l apostrophe. So, you have this exercise here. Okay, for you. And I'm not going to mark it for you, but you can find the corrected uh, file at the end with all your answers. You can check your answers at the end if you got it right. As you can see, I have circled the endings to help you out a bit. Alors, this is a little uh, task for you this week, all right? So, au revoir les enfants.